exciting day for me. It's the day that I get to start to put together <laughs> the Harvest Right freeze dryer. Now I'm going to show you some of the extra things that I got, some of the things that came with it, how we put it together. <laughs> um, I went ahead and I got the Premier vacuum pump. I didn't get the standard vacuum pump that came with the unit. I heard that if you want it to really last and make your life easier to upgrade to the Premier pump, so I did that. That's probably the only difference. If you choose just the standard unit, the pump that I'm opening will be a little bit different. Um, so what did I get? Well, I got quite a few goodies. Um, here are the trays. Oh, just so you know, I got the, the biggest one that they have in the um, residential model, not the commercial or anything, residential model. So this is the biggest one and it ha it's really well made. This door is amazingly thick. And it has five shelves in it and um, these are the trays and I've got to tell you these trays are made really well they are hefty so I have a total of ten trays I wanted a second set someone told me that if you chill some of your food before you put it in you save operation time it's already cold obviously it's freeze drying it it's it's freezing it so what I'm hoping to do with one of our chest freezers is clear an area that I would be able to use by taking the, the pans I'm gonna go in, putting whatever food goes in here, and you need to keep it below the lip. You don't want anything sticking up over. You wanna keep it below the lip. And then I can put them in the chest freezer and have them chilling and then pop it in here to save us a little bit of time and money because the chest freezer, freezers are plugged in and running anyway, why not? So anyway, um, Obviously, it's very simple. The shelves just go right in here. Along with those shelves, I decided to get silicone pads. I didn't want to deal with things sticking to the, um, to the sheet. So I picked up these. And you can tell they're, they're Harvest Right. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And then that just sets... Pardon me if I turn around on you. It's a small space to work in here. Poor Gigi, I really took over her laundry room. <laughs> but she's excited about the freeze dryer too. So you just pop that in there and then you put your food on it and it'll be a lot easier to get off, not a bunch of sticking or anything. So um, if I'm not mistaken, these actually came with the unit. I did not have to spend extra money to get these. So that was, that was a really cool bonus. All right, so along with that, whoops, we also have, this came with it too. They call it an impulse sealer. Now I have one of these for Mylar bags that we've, we've used in the past when we buy a lot of bulk. Um, but I don't have one this big. I have the little handheld clampy heat seal thing that you go like this and then you usually halfway through get stuck and make a mess, at least I do. I don't know about you. Um, so this one's really nice. I mean, that's, that's a unit. I did not pay extra for this. This came with it. So I think that's pretty cool. Let me get out of the bag so you can get a better look. I'm not going to unclip it or anything, but that's really nice. So this end lifts up. Obviously, you plug it in. You put your Mylar bag in there. You heat seal it. There's even a, a gauge on it which is fabulous. So that came with the unit. A uh, lot of things are going to go into Mylar bags for sure. So some, they did send, again, this I did not pay extra for. They sent a 50 pack of eight by 12 Mylar bags, which I think is fantastic. And it even has like a little thing you write on the contents and what's in there. That's amazing. So I got 50 bags all ready to go. And they also sent oxygen absorbers for the Mylar bags. Um, and they even tell you how many you need to use for the size bag that you're using. So that was cool. And I bought the oil filter. The one thing I heard about these units, and it was something that I was on the fence about for a little bit was maintenance, but in talking to owners who have had them for quite some time saying you get the better, you get the premier oil pump, you get the filter, it's not a big deal. So I went ahead and I got the filter. It almost looks like one of those water filters. 
Um, and the purpose of this is you empty out your oil and this filter takes out any water that's in your oil because that will wreck your unit. You don't want water in your oil. And through the process, it generates water. Um, so you want to make sure that you filter your oil. Well, that seems simple enough to me. Uh, so I didn't, once I understood that that was really the, the crux, it seems easy enough to just run it through this little filter. So I went ahead and, and, and got the filter for that. Also, they send you the correct oil to go into your oil pump. I also went on to Amazon and purchased, it's called Black Gold. It's the only other one Harvest Right recommends besides their own. So I got one of those big gallon uh, jugs of, of that. I didn't want to get stuck freeze drying something and then not having oil here. So I may pick up a second one because the one is none and two is one. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's just how it is. So I'll be keeping that here with the other supplies, but this came, came with it. So we'll fill the oil pump and do all that fun stuff. Some stuff that I bought extra, not through Harvest Right, um, was just fun stuff. I got different Mylar bags, depending on the things I do. I'm looking at this as gifts, birthday, Christmas, Easter, whatever, fun stuff to give people, whether it's, um, there's a lot of uh, ideas I have for flavorings to, to shake on your popcorn or your homemade french fries or, or potato chips or even in salad. So that's really exciting. So I got different different bags for different gifts and, and things for people. I thought it would be kind of exciting. And then um, a bigger set, another thing of bags that, uh, that we just bought ourselves to uh, start putting things away. So here's the plug that comes with the unit. We're going to go ahead and put that on now and get that ready to to go and this is why I put it on casters so if you look at the back of the unit which we're going to do here in just a second you will see the power source can you see it right here so we're just going to plug that in right there pardon my back okay so that's simple enough and then over here this is the oil drain pipe. I can't tell you more about it because I don't know anything. <laughs> but I do know that's the oil drain pipe. So then the other thing we've got here is, this is what I'm going to suspect is what hooks up the pump, the oil pump to the unit. So that goes, let me flip this back around. You can see why I got this table. It just made sense that we had something that was maneuverable to make this whole thing work the best we could. So over here you can see this little uh, fixture jutting out and that's where this goes. And the reason I picked up this particular table wasn't just because it had the marine edge here on the, or the little shelf in the back. Um, I wanted something for this to bump up against to just made me feel a little bit better but that it had the shelf down here below where I can put the oil pump right down here and the whole thing I can roll around. So I'm not lifting the oil pump and trying to scoot this around. So that was the method to my madness there, being able to have a place to put the oil pump. I also uh, didn't want to have it in a bedroom if there's guests and I'm running it. It does, I asked the company, they said it sort of makes the hum of a refrigerator you can drop a pin and I'll wake up. So for those that don't sleep well and are visiting and, and get to stay at Gigi's house in the guest bedroom, I, I did not want to have this running in there or having to slow down what I was doing in case there were people here. Okay, so let's check out our vacuum pump. I will say they packaged everything really well, like no damage in shipping on a single thing. Everything came in perfect and um, they really did pay attention to their packing materials. This is not light, <laughs> let me just say. Okay, so here is, I feel like I need some sort of a horned introduction. Ta -ta -ta -ta. The ugh, oil pump. <laughs> That's a heck of a unit. All right, got a tag here telling me 
Always keep the pump level, hence the shelf down there. And gas ballast must always be open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, when I know what I'm doing, I'll know what the gas ballast is. For now, we'll just know that it needs to be open. All right, so let's undo the plug here. And the nice thing is that area in back that I showed you where I plugged in the power cord also has a receptacle to plug in the, um, the oil pump. So I only have to plug in the unit itself. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and where am I getting tripped up? The twist tie. The twist tie is tripping me up. Okay, so what I'm hoping is this will work down here I know you can't see. I will. Uh, I'll show you at the end how it looks down there. And then I'm going to take this back here. And as I said, I'm going to plug in the oil pump to the receptacle that's here in the back. Your on-off switch is also back here. So there we have it. Let me flip it around because I can. Ruger didn't like the fact I keep the boxes. And there we have everything plugged in. We have the oil pump plugged in and we have the main unit plugged in here. And then there's your rocker switch for on and off. Okay, I'm gonna put this back into place. And when we come back, we'll get the oil pump filled, make sure the gas ballast is open and uh, maybe fire her up. So I thought we'd get a little closer here. The gas ballast that they're talking about is here and they want it on open, not closed, not that way. They want it that way. If you don't leave it open, it says it can ruin your pump. So we're keeping that sucker that way. And I'm gonna leave that tag on there to remind me of that until I am used to running this um, freeze dryer a little bit longer. Um, so here is where we connect the connection, which I'm not going to do just yet. And this is where you can see the amount of oil that needs to go in. They say they want the oil in between, so we'll get that done. And then they, they make this all so simple. Here's where the oil goes. So right in there, I'm going to get a funnel and, and get the oil put in there. And then I think earlier I told you that this hose back here was um, for oil draining. That's no, <laughs> that's for the water draining out of the unit because it's a freeze dryer. It's removing all the water. So this is the where the water is going to come out of whatever it is that we're freeze drying. And you want to leave this, they called it perpendicular. So I, it is perpendicular. And other than filling the oil pump and giving it a little run to make sure that it's properly running, we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that and then we will come back and talk about the first thing that we're going to load. Okay, so here we are plugged in. We've got our screen. I've got the oil pump set up. I have it flipped on. I have the gas ballast open and I have it filled halfway up the, uh, the visible um, leveler that they show you that they show you there. So I think we're ready to go. Now I'm supposed to hit this here. Ooh, I better put my glasses on because I cannot see what this says. It says functional testing. Okay. And it's showing everything off. Okay. So it says to toggle the freeze button. Sounds like a refrigerator. Okay, told me what I'm doing is I'm running it the first test for it just starting up. So I turned on the freeze button. I have the drain valve over there for the water in the five gallon bucket so that nothing goes all over the floor. I have shut the door. I'm going to set my timer and I will come back here in 30 minutes um, to see if it is up and running and doing what it's supposed to do. So we'll find out. All right, we're at 39 minutes. 
So that's run successfully over a half an hour. So the next thing they're asking me to do is toggle on the vacuum pump, the oil pump down here, which I will do right now. Okay, it just switched to on. I can't see a thing without these. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be watching now that to run for half an hour and then there is a number up here that says pressure and that number is supposed to come down below 500 in about a half an hour. So we'll come back in and hopefully we'll have some success. You saw it count down. Once that counted down under 500, I hit done. The test is finished. I can um, open the door and release the drain valve, which I'm going to do. Wow. That's a sound. I tell you what I'm going to be doing in the summertime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right here. Oh, that's nice. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let it, uh, well, I can't say cool down. <laughs> Let's get back to room temperature. Um, I'm going to go do dinner. We're having chicken Caesar salad tonight. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, roasted up a couple of chickens yesterday. And um, maybe at some point we do some freeze-dried chicken. There are so many exciting things, you guys. I cannot wait to dig into this and, and get rolling with it. So for now, that is the setting up and test. Everything ran great. The oil pump was relatively quiet, as you heard. Um, and tomorrow we will run our first batch of something. Until then, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Please hit that subscribe button, click for notifications. And if you like my videos, give me a like. It really does keep me going. So this is Nikki D from Five Dog Farm with our new thing we'll make other recipes with, <laughs> saying see you soon.